Drones belonging to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry's Security Service and Special Operations Forces launched an attack on Russia's Tula region on the night leading to November 9. The Ukrainian media reported this with reference to a source within the Ukrainian Security Service. The attack targeted the chemical plant in the city of Alexin. The enterprise that is owned by Rostex Corporation produces necessary materials, ammunition and gunpowder for the Russian military industrial complex. According to the reports circulated by local telegram channels, the attack was launched at around 3 in the morning. Apart from the chemical plant, Ukrainian drones also moved towards the mechanical plant. As a result of drone strikes, an explosion occurred in the territory of the chemical plant. Fire engines have been brought to the area. No casualties have been reported. According to Russian reports, an air defense system was activated and that the drones were shot down. Гандоны жужжат нахуй. Ты прикинь, что за хуйня. Пиздец,
With the re-election of Donald Trump, Ukraine's government is now forced to consider pursuing its own nuclear weapons program as an alternative to declining American support, according to a new analysis by Foreign Policy. This represents a reversal of Ukraine's decision to give up its Soviet-era nuclear arsenal in the 1994 Budapest Memorandum in exchange for security assurance from Russia, the US and the UK. The article written by Casey Michel, head of the Human Rights Foundation's Combating Kleptocracy program, argues that Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has hinted that Kyiv may seek to develop nuclear weapons if it fails to gain NATO membership. Either Ukraine will have nuclear weapons and that will be our protection, or we should have some sort of alliance, Zelensky said last month. Apart from NATO, today we do not know any effective alliances. Michel notes that this is not the first time Ukraine has considered reviving its nuclear program. In the aftermath of the Soviet collapse in 1991, Ukraine emerged as one of a few nations to claim a portion of the Soviet nuclear arsenal. However, the US and Russia led a joint effort to strip Ukraine of these weapons, which was completed in 1994 through the Budapest Memorandum. The resulting Budapest Memorandum pledged nebulous security assurances for Kiev, with the Kremlin declaring it would never push any threat or use of force against Ukraine, the article states. In return, Kiev gave up its remaining nuclear arsenal, a move that is now not only seen by many Ukrainians as a clear misstep, but that left a lingering distaste in the mouth of Ukrainian officials about America's role in the region and even trustworthiness as a partner. According to the analysis, the re-election of Trump is a significant factor in Ukraine's potential nuclear calculus. With the expectation of diminished US support under a second Trump presidency, Kyiv may see developing its own nuclear deterrent as the only way to guarantee its survival. If NATO keeps closing the door to Ukrainian membership and to the US nuclear umbrella, then a nuclearized Kyiv would be the only logic outcome remaining, the article argues. The piece also notes that Ukraine has the technical capabilities to develop nuclear weapons. Additionally, it suggests that other nations, such as Poland, have previously threatened to pursue their own nuclear weapons programs if not granted NATO membership. The article concludes by stating that the West must welcome Ukraine into NATO, or it must start getting ready for Ukraine to rejoin the same nuclear club it was once a part of all those years ago.